Hey guys, so today I am sharing with you all my empties. As I do every few months, I like to kind of go through things that I've used up and give you a full review because like I always say, I think that there's no better review than one that you can give for a product that you've actually given a good go, that you've used all the way through, whether it's good or bad. And then I always share if I repurchased it or not, or, or if you know, I'm using something different. I think that's kind of interesting. So as always, I have my little basket. I keep this in the, um, kind of in the floor of our, um, like of our linen closet in our bathroom, kind of next to my vanity in our bathroom. And I've got like a trash can next to it, obviously, but I keep this just so that I don't throw away these containers. And sometimes I, I forget and throw things away. But again, like I always say in this whole world of YouTube where we're constantly seeing new things, new things, new things, and people are, you know, throwing up reviews for things that they've had for like two days. You kind of wonder sometimes like, what is, what is this? So I think my mistake with these videos that always, for me end up being like 30 minutes long is that I wait until this whole thing gets full. So what I did this time is I decided to do it when it's about halfway. And I feel like I just did one of these not that long ago. Waylon's in here today. <laughs> he is still alive guys. I know he's like never in here with me though when I do videos anymore because he always wants to either be right next to Olivia's door when she's napping, then of course I have to keep the door closed in here because I don't want to disturb her, or if she's not napping, she's downstairs playing with Brad if I can film during those times, and he wants to be down there. <laughs> he doesn't want to be up here, but he wants to be right next to me, so, um, so that's all good. Can you believe he's five? Every time I come in here, I torture him, and I'm like, hey. <laughs> so that's why he stays away. But anyways, I made it a point to go ahead and like do one before it got too out of control. So, first thing in here, and this is actually something that I just put in yesterday, it is my Elizabeth and James Nirvana White Dry Shampoo. I have the white and the black. The heat just came on. Let me turn it off. This video is so random. Let me go turn it off because that's so annoying. I know when it comes on. Oh, it's going to disturb Waylon. See, that worked out pretty perfect because now I can show off like, hey, look. Oh, my big boy. My big boy. Can you believe he's five? Goodness. My goodness, Lord. I'm gonna be covered in dog hair now. It's actually set, the heat's just gonna have to stay on. It was set really low, and I don't want it to get too cold up here because I want her room to stay warm. So I'm sorry if it's like worrying, so sorry. But honestly, this is the best dry shampoo I have ever tried. It's so incredibly perfect. It's dry. It doesn't feel like, you know, some can feel wet and almost makes your hair feel like dirtier. It really makes your hair feel clean. It doesn't look like you've used dry shampoo. It doesn't, it went off, perfect. It doesn't look like you've used dry shampoo. It doesn't look powdery or thick or cakey, but it just, it gives your hair so much volume. Honestly, I will definitely repurchase this, but I still have the black. So I think I have about half of the black left, but I was kind of using them equally. And then I just kind of made it a point just to use one and then use the other so I could get rid of some containers. The Mira Time Release Acne Cleanser. This is the best, this is the best cleanser ever. It does have salicylic acid in it. It's not something that I'd say is harsh at all. So even if you don't have acne and you just want something that's very like anti-aging, but will just keep your pores clean, that's what the salicylic does. And it's in a very thick, very emollient base. Like this cleanser is so thick and creamy. It doesn't foam makes your skin feel super, super comfortable. So it's from their anti-aging acne line and it's just wonderful. And I even like can pack it on like when I'm in the shower and use it as a mask and just kind of let it sit there. So um, I just, I love that. I have the Aveeno Skin Relief Body Wash, the Fragrance Free. This is a really good body wash and I use this a ton in the winter when my skin's dry and Brad uses it too. It's just a very solid body wash. The Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. This is like a styling cream, and I feel like this is always in my empties, but it's so, so good. It smooths, volumizes, conditions, strengthens, and polishes. So when you get out and you kind of towel dried your hair, you can put some in your hand and kind of work it in. It doesn't make your hair greasy. It gives my hair a little bit of life, you know? It doesn't make it so when I dry it or when I let it air dry, because it works really well if you air dry your hair as well, which I do probably 90% of the time. It just gives it a little life. It keeps it from being so clean and flat, you know what I mean? But then it kind of conditions 
It just gives my hair some life. I really, really love it. So the Bosch and Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I had this little one. This was a little one that came with my Clarisonic. And then I never used it for a while. I just kind of stored it under my cabinet and then I started using it again and ended up purchasing the full size of this. This is so good. I keep this in my shower. Um, I might actually keep this little bottle. I don't know though, I hate for it to get gross, but this is a perfect little travel size of this. This stuff is so good. The Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I keep mine in the shower, like I said. You can't even keep it at your sink, but I could put it on my skin, like just right now, like on dry skin. That's what you do, and you rub it in and then you rinse it off. So it's a great product to use in the shower if you shower at night. If you want to take your makeup off in the shower, you don't need any wipes or anything. So that is very good. I really liked this, the L'Oreal Power Moisture Moisture Rush Mask. And it says it has hyaluronic um, conditioners, whatever. So this just smelled really nice, but I really liked the texture of it. Oh, I love the way this smells. It really, um, I don't know if you can tell, yeah, you can kind of tell, but when you go to buy it at the store, it's like a um, teal color. But I felt like it really stuck to my hair, like it really grabbed on and it would, it was like a nice mask. It felt really good and it would stay on like during the time you were in the shower rather than some that just feel like water. But I felt like it made my hair look nice. I felt like it was really moisturizing and pretty. The Colleen Rothschild Intense Hydrating Mask. If you want a mask that like makes your skin look plump and pretty and just feels good, this is it. I really want to get another one. This is one of her products that I really, really love and think is unique. It's just, it is what it is. It's an intense hydrating mask. So if you ever feel like your skin is a little dry, you use it and it's great. <laughs> it's, it's a good mask, I love it. Um, the Murad Advanced Acne and Wrinkle Reducer. I always have at least one of these. Um, now that I'm using the Rafisa though, I don't use this at night. I use this in, well I was using the Sunday Riley products at night, but I use this in the morning. And um, it's been fine so far, but like I said, I'm only like two days in. This is very gentle, super gentle, but I do feel like it works. Okay, the Soap and Glory Clean On Me Shower Gel. It is my favorite. I actually have a new one right now. And um, I, I, the way these smell is just so perfect. They smell floral, but not like cheap floral. You don't have to put on like perfume or look. They, it lingers, like it actually smells really good and it feels so amazing. It lathers really, really good. If you use it with a poof, you know, it's just so good. I just, if you have not tried that, you have to. It is so good. The Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil Free Photo Edition Foundation. This was an okay foundation and I don't think it's like life changing and that I'd repurchase it because I've moved on to other, other things, but it is good. Um, they have one that says moisturizing too, but this is the one that says silk cream oil free, which I think, as far as what I've read, I never tried the original silk cream by Laura Mercier, but the one that says oil free is supposed to be more or closer to that original one. I don't know, like I said, I've never tried that one, but um, it's okay. I don't know if I would repurchase it. It's a solid foundation, you know, but I've tried so many other ones. It's good, it's, it's definitely not bad. I mean, I used it. I probably have just a little left, but. The Dior Lip Maximizer, I've actually already repurchased another one. I use this every single day, every single day before I do my lipstick or anything. And you know, it doesn't get super goopy. I mean, you can really goop it on, but I'll put it on and then it kind of tingles, you know, and then I'll kind of even blot it off. But some days I just wear it by itself with a little bit of um, liner. This is a good product, you know, it's not going to make your lips huge. Nothing will that you put on. I mean, really, some of them just irritate the crap out of your lips. And for me, anytime I've ever used a lip plumper that's like really intense, like the Too Faced, like the lip injection or anything like that, it bursts blood vessels in my lips that like do not go away. My skin is really prone to that. I have one right here that like pops up every few years and it's like, it does not go away. Um, I mean, it does, but it takes for freaking ever. But anyways, this is not harsh, but all I want from a lip plumper is I don't care about my lips being bigger. I just want like, it smooths the lines and it makes your lip line look prettier. Um, and this actually really does do that. So I find that that is just a product that I definitely repurchase again and again. My Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, I just put that in the other day. 
Um, I actually have a brand new one in a box, but I also had the MAC Clear Brow Gel. And um, so now I'm trying this as well. And I don't have a preference. I find this one is great and this one is great. Makeup Forever Ink Liner. This one dried out. Um, I had a couple of these and both of them finally went kaput. So this one is a good liner. It's one of those, it's just a very like old school one. You know, you get it out, it has like the harder like felt tip. I really do prefer a pen though. And the one that I have really, really been loving is the Ico Skinny. That's what I use for this look that I've been doing a lot lately. So um, I just kind of don't. I, let's see, how many of these? I just have this one. The um, Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner. When this, these came out, I did that review on them. I mean, obviously, I'm not a fan of these, but no matter how little, how much you use, no matter what you do, if you take the time to wipe it off, it's just still not worth it to me. It's just such a weird product. And I tried to use this brown, and it's like it's already, I don't know, it's just very bizarre. I just have a hard time with that product. I have the Sigma Monumental Lash, which I like. This was one that I would just keep in my bathroom and just kind of use whenever. And while I like it, I love the Sinuosity. So I'll, and I have one of those in here. Yeah. Um, out of all of them, the Sinuosity is so, so good. It's like, a, I said, when, when I first got it, I feel like it was like a push-up bra for my lashes. Like you could really get up in there and, yeah. So... That's awesome. The MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose. I've actually already purchased another one of those. This product just cannot be beat. I just love it. I use it kind of, it's like a light pink brightening highlighter. You can use it on your nose, on your face, anywhere where you'd apply a highlighter. It, it just is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's perfect. I love it. Um, the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. Finally felt like it was time to set that free because it's getting pretty old. I love this product though. I just feel it definitely smells different. Uh, primers, so dumb that whoever started making lash primers white, like what? why not make them black? Who cares? I mean, this is just the best and I don't even use lash primers a lot. I don't think they're necessary, but this one I always really liked. And um, love that little brush. It's just kind of a dry feeling for it. Makes them kind of fan out pretty. If you want to try a good lash primer, try that one, the little black primer. And definitely, I will repurchase that at some point. My Anastasia brow is the little one that had the broken end finally ran out. But I have been using this, the Hourglass Arch Pencil, and it's giving me a bit more of a natural look. The tone is a bit different. Because, I mean, obviously, it's a different color. I use the Taupe in the Anastasia, which is very cool. This one is in Warm Blonde, the, the hourglass one that I've been using, and it is very warm. It has like that reddish hint to it almost, but I love that, like the Brow Wiz until mine broke off, it's got the little spoolie on the end. It's one of those that's not precise. It's just like a ginorm wedge, and um, I just feel like it's been good, you know? It just it's it's fine it's been it's been working really great so I just haven't felt the need to buy anything else and it gives me a bit more of a natural look even though I can get a really natural look with the brow is it's a very tiny little you know and this one is very like wide I'm gonna put my stuff back in here so I can toss it um, not a whole lot of makeup I know um, I really have a ton of skincare stuff that's like whoa that's like right there on the verge of running out so I know that the next one is gonna be really full of like newer type skincare stuff a lot of my Sunday Riley stuff which I'm not kidding I haven't had the best luck with that and I almost hate to stop using it because I, well the really the Luna is the only thing that I've really not been using because I replaced it with my Rafisa and then the good jeans I can use in the morning. I can use that as a mask. I love the good jeans. I would say the good jeans is a must. Like, I will find a way to use that because I love it. I feel like it's really changed my skin. Um, but the Luna, which is like a retinol oil, what I'm going to do with that, since obviously at night I just wash my face and use the Rafisa, and it's like a cream, so I don't need a moisturizer. What I'm going to do is, um, I think, like once a week... I might use the Luna at night or if I got irritation or whatever I might use the Luna at night because it's an oil and I always just felt like it made my skin feel really good but um but yeah I would say the good jeans is a must but yeah next time I'm gonna have so so many skincare things to talk about and um, a lot of makeup products are right there on the verge 
So a lot of blushes I feel are about to so anyways, I've been really making it a point to use what I have lately. And I want to give you an update on something really quickly uh, before I let you go, because I know this has been long. In my Ulta video, I mentioned these nail polishes, these Cre uh, is it Creative Nail Design? Yeah, c &D. These Vinyl Lux polishes, the seven day, and I used the Cake Pop, and I just took it off, actually. And um, I painted, painted them last Friday. It is now Thursday. And I would say they looked good till about yesterday. So to me, that's pretty good. I mean, they don't have to last the whole seven days, but six full days, because I painted them early on Friday, I'd say that's pretty impressive. And I've been cleaning out the house. I've been cleaning out the house. I've been doing a lot of like things with my hands. I feel like maybe I could have stretched it to seven days, but um, I don't know. I was I was impressed. I really was. So. Um, so yeah, I'm going to paint this color next, the powder my nose. I got rid of a ton of nail polish lately. Um, just I gave some away. I got rid of, I've done that with a lot of my stuff. And I think you guys are going to be not shocked because I still feel like it's a lot. I still feel like it's a lot. But um, everything I have is right here in these drawers on this table. So I'm going to do a video soon on that and how I've cleaned out. Is it freaking snowing? Oh my gosh. Just filmed my spring video. I cannot take it that it is snowing. Like, I really cannot take it right now. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. So, yeah, thank you guys for spending some time with me today. And as always, thank you for watching and for all the support. Love you guys so much. And I will talk to you all very soon. Bye, guys.